In this episode of 7 days to die, I'll show you how to unleash your full melee potential in less than 2 in-game days. This is aiming for gaming, and today we're aiming for a knowledge gaining. Our objective for the next several days is to maximize profits in the early game of Alpha 21. This update is all about learning, so the mailbox run might be the best way to acquire knowledge. But before that, let's store all our belongings in our new temporary base near the second trader. The first trader gen was in a pretty small city, Bruh. so we had to move on. To keep up with Jen's progress, I need to complete 7 more tier 1 quests, which I believe is worth it in the long run. Let me also install a Helmet Light mode to help me navigate dark areas, as the lighting in Alpha 21 is somewhat broken, especially during rains. Oh, Trader's Hue Space got a huge update, as I can see. There are so many military trucks and all that. Oh, and a can of peers. I guess soldiers love this stuff. Now, to estimate the size of the city, we can check how far away the Tier 1 PUIs will be. Oh, this looks promising. Almost everything is within 500 meters. Nice. Be cautious with this PUI. It might contain a dog inside. It can be quite a surprise for new players, and if you're not careful, you might find yourself in trouble. However, the reward is pretty nice, a meat stew and a weapon mod. By the way, always install mods on your weapons and tools, regardless of their usefulness, as each installed mod increases your weapon damage. Also, don't forget to check all the boxes in the POI, as some of them might be hidden or placed on shelves above. Great, we now have 500 cobblestone rocks as a tier 1 reward. That's fantastic! It means less mining for me. Now let's move on to the fetch quest. Oh no, this time the supplies are below the surface, which means I have no other option but to break into the POI in a way it was definitely not intended for. This guy is probably the storage owner. Sorry, but you only eat human flesh along with hunted deer corpses. Anyway, you don't need this food. This is also a good place to get murky water, if you're struggling with your water supply. Hey, I'm pretty sure I killed you 10 seconds ago. There we go. I couldn't cheese this quest, indeed. You know what? Since I've already killed half of the enemies inside, let's get to the final loot. Three enemies are not such a big deal with our upgraded level 4 spear. And the loot is… terrible. Ok, at least we got two first aid bandages. Time to get out of here. Great, 15 hundreds of wood. Base construction will be easier with each quest. The next fetch is 500 meters away from the trailer, but we have a bicycle now, so it doesn't matter anymore. I've reached level 6, so I can spend points to level up perception. As I mentioned earlier, it took me 24 in-game minutes to travel half a kilometer. I hope this time I can simply retrieve the supplies. Well, technically, yes I can. In reality, I first need to deal with one angry bird and one angry guy. Can I just jump and get the item? Yes I can, nice. There is no need to loot anything else, let's head back to the trader. Another 15 hundreds of wood, wow. Ladies and gentlemen, I've just got enough wood for the whole game. Surprisingly, I can still finish the next quest before the trader closes. And just look at that! The quest is in my favorite POI, which means that we now know where my base will be. We have around one hour left, so let's hurry up. Actually, my pistol might help a lot. This is it, it took me 18 in-game minutes to finish the quest. And while I am getting my loot, I would kindly ask you to leave a like on this video if you are enjoying it so far. This will help me a lot and motivate me to make more videos for you. I spent more time looting than completing the quest itself. 
but there is still enough time to pick up the last quest. Pipe bombs are great, but since I already have some, I'll go for crafting magazine bundles. You can't go wrong with that. Looks like I even have some spare time for selling my stuff and buying books. And there we go, I can just concentrate on book farming and then finish the buried supplies quest. So, how does the journal farm work? First of all, the more points you put into specific skills, the higher the probability of finding a respective journal will be. This applies to everything – weapons, forge ahead, vehicle adventures, cooking weekly, and so on. That's why our points invested in spear mastery should increase the probability of getting sharp stick journals, which we will confirm in practice. This is the end of day 2, and I have got 5 tomes of spear hunter out of 7 and 11 sharp stick journals out of 75. There are 4 types of journal farming I can imagine right now. The first one is to simply buy them from traders, but traders usually have random journals and their stock is refreshed every 3 days, so this is not our way. The second way is to farm books in POIs. Surprisingly, there are many bookshelves inside, especially at higher tier POIs, such as offices. However, at our level it would be easier to farm Kureka bookstores instead. The third way is to get them as quest rewards, but it's also limited each day and time-consuming overall. The last and the most efficient way is to farm mailboxes. And we have the whole night to do so. Just keep in mind that enemies on higher difficulties are much faster during the night and also ferals begin to spawn until morning. Always check concrete mixers, as it seems like they have a 100% chance of wielding forge ahead journals. Meanwhile, deer also spawn during the night period, so you can farm them for meat and other useful resources. Oh, my knife is in the bicycle. I can hear someone. Oh no, it's a feral. Is it going after me? No. Looks like the answer is no. I think it's strange that zombies prefer to eat my deer instead of fresh yummy humans. Better for me though. Let's continue mailbox hunting. Oh my, really? the last tom of Spear Hunter. It's the start of day 3. The game begins at 7 am of day 1, which means that we've got all toms of Spear Hunter in less than 2 days. Now I will regenerate full stamina with each kill from a power attack. I can tell you for sure that there is no other book I ever found that fast. Keep in mind that I have finished 11 quests in total, so I haven't intentionally tried to get my Spear Hunter books. Just occasionally check the mailboxes all the time. Alright, the game just became much easier. Let's continue searching for books and journals. I need a lot of sharp sticks. This will be our next goal. I hope this episode helped you achieve what you were aiming for today. For more episodes, simply visit my channel and consider subscribing. It's that easy. Thank you all for watching and see you next time.